Minecraft Live 2023 was announced today. Let's take a look at their trailer movie and see if we can see any details of what this new update 1.21 will be all about. Hello there, Ray here. Make sure you're subscribed and let's get into it. First thing we see is the petals that are falling from the blossom trees are then collecting and moving as a single group. In Minecraft, these petals are considered particles and they actually come out of the blossom leaves. They're crossing a bunch of different biomes, they're coming across different players who then all of a sudden get involved in them. Once a player becomes part of it, you can see there's some islands in the background which look like end islands but then have different things on them that are part of the overworld like the village. The player then chases after these particles which then go all throughout the cave biomes and into a stronghold when it goes past these other players they also get involved then it shows them with the different little segments of the stronghold it also says that they're broadcasting the minecraft live which we do know from past years then all these new characters are chasing after these particles which are then going off into the distance where there's some people building a big structure also the particles just levitate the players up here to help build it and then we meet another character who is doing some archaeology particles go past them and then we get this little islands look like an islands game but with different structures on them it also says that there's gonna be a mob vote in game which is really cool probably gonna be some new mobs that we can get to choose from as well so look forward to that but then this time mobs get involved and the mobs come along and in the background we can see more of these little islands with the different biomes on them it also let us know that with the minecraft live that we're going to, be going to get some news as well as updates in the actual event characters all go over and then we meet up with some minecraft legend characters which they are going to talk about minecraft legends during this event as well as any other things related to the minecraft franchise we then go downwards as the particles go into the deep dark where we got another player picking up some templates they also get involved and then they announce the date of the actual live stream which is going to be october 15th october 15th is more than an entire month away so we got plenty of time to get ready for it but what is really odd is october 15th is a sunday where all past events were on saturdays but maybe there's some big event that saturday so they just bumped it onto the sunday either way it gives us plenty of time to learn about the mobs which they're going to be announcing just prior to the actual announcement probably just like last year where they tell us a little bit about each mob until the actual live stream where we can vote on them just prior to the actual event or during the actual event and then they'll announce who the winner is next up we see the warden come out on the ground and then they tell you to be there or be square where we also get to see some different floating islands of the ancient city in the background players then continue on and they get some more levitation with the blossoms as they continue building this massive structure with all the different mobs there and we get to see all the different new skins for the default players we also get to see some minecraft legends characters in there as well where they do the final announcement of the event being october 15th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a good time zone as most people like even in India, Europe, and United States can all participate. Besides the video, they also came out with a article explaining everything that we need to know about the Minecraft live event, such as like the date, and it also talks about how the Minecraft mob vote for 2023 is going to work, saying that there's going to be three mobs we can choose from, and the winner will make it into the next major update. Like how last year the sniffer beat out the other mobs, and now is in the game. But the mob vote's going to be open for 48 hours, which is longer than previous years. So it's going to be open from that Friday all the way to just after the live stream gets started. And they're going to open up a Minecraft server on the Bedrock Edition where you can actually go in game and vote for which mob you want. This is like last year. They're also going to include mini games and mob parkour. You can also vote through the minecraft.net or right on the launcher, which is something they also started up last year. And it sounds like there's going to be a scavenger hunt on their server as well, with the server closing 24 hours after the live stream. Now, which mods we're going to vote on? It says that's going to be a secret until the beginning of October, where they're going to probably release them in little batches, kind of like they did in prior years, so we could learn a little bit about them before voting. But they also said they're going to sneak in some scatter clues among the articles. So we'll keep an eye out for any of those. Now when it comes to Minecraft Live, it's going to be live streamed on YouTube as well as here on their Minecraft.net website. Like previous years, I will be doing live commentating on the event as it's live where you guys get to join me as we discuss what we think of all the newest things right as they come out. And of course, I will be doing a review of the actual live stream on YouTube as well. 
So with the combination of the video and the article, do you think there's any sneak peeks hidden within these? Well, one of the biggest ones is just these floating islands with the different things on them. These look very natural. And this could indicate that we are getting more options when it comes to making custom worlds. In the past, when deciding what type of world you want, you could tweak different things like how many dungeons you wanted, where you want the sea level, and much more. And for some reason, this was all taken away. And if you wanted to do all this stuff, you'd have to have a mod. Besides that, the theme has been these little blossom particles, which are the main thing everybody is kind of following in order to get to the actual announcement of its date. So maybe there'll be some improvements upon particles in the future update. Let me know if you've seen anything odd or unusual in this trailer and keep an eye out as I will be putting out more videos as we learn more things. And be sure to leave a like on the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!